go. Oh, I'm seeing a few interesting things now. I was actually not seeing anything interesting for a while. And these buildings are definitely formed interestingly, so... And yeah, I'm definitely getting some lag, which is always odd. And I don't feel like I'm experiencing any. Well, I popped a block and then it re-popped itself for a moment. Mm. Yeah. That allows access to this tower. Yeah, I like this one. Okay. Yeah, this one's kind of interestingly screwed up. Eh. Alright, well... Alright. Now, which direction was I headed? I was headed back west. The Wild Wild West. The Will Smith movie? Yes. Or Will Smith. Oh, it's time to bed down. <coughs> I'd feel worse for him if he wasn't a Scientologist. <laughs> of course, he also has several million dollars... Or billions, even. So I don't really feel bad for him at all, in general. Well, he won't be if he's a Scientologist for very long. Well, true. And they do like to take as much money of yours as possible. Well, I mean, I figured out the trick to Scientology a long time ago. It's just something somebody invented because there's all these celebrities who have all this money, but can't find any meaning in their lives. And... Uh, so this, per these, this person or people invented Scientology... So that they could get all these people's money and give them the illusion of meaning in their life in exchange. And then he moved on to a boat and stayed in international waters so he couldn't be arrested. And from what records of people that visited him said, there were a lot of naked children on that boat. Oh dear. You know, and one of his most famous documents he left behind was instructions on how to threaten people with lawsuits if they started... Uh, saying your religion was a sham. Uh huh. Well, okay. good luck with that. Well, it worked for them so far. <laughs> but I like that uh, Scientology is actually banned in France. Well, good on them. Yeah. There's a skeleton in this damn uh, blacksmith shop. Just look through a window and he's sitting here staring out at me. Like, I remember when I could go outdoors. Well, just leave him be. He's very sad. Yeah. More obsidian. I don't know why I'm collecting it. But I'm gonna... Hmm. What am I looking map wise? Okay, I'm a good distance away. I can pretty much head straight east and still have some leeway. But you already went east. West and have some leeway. I know what direction I mean. It's a the actual direction I'm heading. I'm just saying the wrong one. Because, you know, dyslexic. That's the... I don't think that applies to direction. <laughs> There's this... The front of a house just perfectly formed on this back garden for a butcher shop. So, the front of a house is there just... And then it's just attached to the back garden. There's. Uh -huh. Is it the inside or the outside? Uh, the outside. That's weird. Uh, do do do. A little bit of screwed up stuff around here. Thankfully, no fire. Maybe when I should have done a take an ass out on this trip. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have grabbed Steed and, uh... Except riding, riding stuff through towns is dangerous. Yeah, because you never know when you might walk into lava. Or just, you know, a low overhang. Yeah, and kill yourself accidentally. Uh-huh. Uh. And probably kill your mount in your, you know, crazed fl flailing. doesn't mention how many... No, they have... There's a mushroom growing on this blacksmith shop. Hooray! I think. I, I, I'm really not sure. Alright, let me see. Mm, there's another blacksmith shop. 
I'm not actually seeing anything too screwed up at the moment. It's a little sad. I know. Maybe <laughs> we've traveled so far that the world generation sorted itself out. That'd be a damn shame. I know, right? Wait, how, is that, how many houses? This is normal, but I think this is normal. Well, yeah. if we don't find enough screwed up stuff, we could just convert it into an art project like we talked about before. That's also possible, yeah. but And just sculpt our own mountain of not. Uh, it's our own mountain of screwed upness. <laughs> well, I don't think world generation has sorted itself out. I think no, it sure I think we might have to just uh well, I'd like to not resort to flying on camera. But we might have to resort to some flying off camera just so we can strafe over in lines looking for signs for screwed up houses. I mean just you know, straight up like well, it's not really carpet bombing, so we would, or since we wouldn't be bombing anything. Maybe you wouldn't. Well, it depends on how bored I get. After a while, I would, you know, pull out the potions, or splash potions of harming. <laughs> oh. I light TNT in the air. Hmm. I just let it drop. This is kind of neat. A, uh, a library actually butted up perfectly... To the back of one of the towers in such a way that uh like they actually fit together almost perfectly oh knock out a block that's a good one i better go down there in case it's gonna catch on fire <coughs> hmm. i have this I have this return teleporter I could always use to get back faster, but really, eh. Well, the whole point is, you know, we use those to pop back and then resume our journey from where we left off. Yeah, but since I'm checkpoint. since I'm fairly certain that uh, lag is being caused by my being in a large collection of unloaded chunks, I'm heading back in the direction of our base because there's still so much unexplored land between here and there meanwhile I'm just going farther south yeah so did you just head straight south out the door um more or less huh. Huh. I've deviated a little bit east but I mean my, yeah. in general I'm going south it's been a long time since I realized that the um Dungeon noise actually means there's probably something below me. As opposed to there's something above me. It could be a mine shaft or something. Actually, it would almost have to be a mine shaft. I mean, there's not really any, um. Caves. Or any damn thing. There's well, I mean, in general, it's either a cave or a mine shaft, and a mine shaft is just a special <coughs> cave. Yeah. So, in general, if I hear a noise, it's a fucking cave. Alright. Uh, what's here? Bread. That's what's here. I'm seeing a lot of chests with garbage in them that I would have left behind, but none of these buildings have been burned down, so... It's hard to tell. Oh, no, there's iron. I don't need this gravel. I don't need this, this, the books. I'll keep on to the eggs for now. Those stairs. Don't need that. Don't need the spread. I don't need those apples. I barely used any potatoes. Don't need these seeds. Don't need this fence. There we go. All right. I'll have her keep the useless ass gold for now. So this is two shops that formed into each other, hmm. and they kind of formed. They formed into each other in such a way where. I was able to chop out just a little bit of a wall, and they kind of connect together. Well, that sounds interestingly. sounds good. I may keep this one. Hmm. Do 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 do. Let's see. You did that, and I started thinking of the Tonight Show, the old Tonight Show music. Yeah, well, that's what it was. Oh, okay. Your tempo was off. I think. Yeah. It was. Badly. 
That's the one. When Johnny Carson was funny. Well, when Johnny Carson was alive. Well, yeah, he's not funny now, is he? Well, we could make jokes about him anyway. Oh, we could, but you know. It's, you know, beating a dead horse. <laughs> uh, beating a dead comedian. Same thing. <sighs> okay, how do I get into this building? At least I like when he uh, completely thwarted the com or the um, pretty famous fraud, Uri Geller. One of those guys of, I can, you know, read minds and etc, etc, etc. And, um, yeah, basically he went, oh, we totally couldn't get your props here in time. Don't worry, I have all my props from, or I had, you know, a new set brought in specifically <laughs> for you. So that you can still perform all of your, you know, amazing psychic tricks if you really want to. And he went, I, I, um, I can't perform them because of reasons. Okay, this is kind of funny. A butcher shop generated directly behind a butcher shop. They're facing back to back. And because of the garden of one would have formed in the other. The other butcher shop is in the air with its garden on the roof of the other butcher shop. That's neat. All right, I'm going to bookmark that one. Bookmark, yeah. Well, that's basically what it is. Fuck it. Like, I've been wondering why the hell I keep saying I'm going to delete blocks every time I hit anything. Alright, so. <coughs> Let me throw it out of bed. Hmm. Now, the one thing I'm actually pretty excited about is, um, when MST... When MST3K does come back, apparently Patton Oswald, of course, or as I think you also knew, would be the, um, playing the villain, or one of the villains. Yes, yeah, so he will be TV's son of TV's Frank. Huh. Me, doctor's assistant, for those who don't know, being named TV's Frank. Uh, and there's no reason why most of the people watching me would know, considering I think most of them are less than half of my age. God damn it, I'm old. I, I'm right up there with you. Well, you're younger than me, so fuck you. Only by a year or so. Yeah, it's still enough for me to be angry and old. Uh, ooh, did I find something? That's a big-ass garden. That's two gardens that actually perfectly butted up against each other. This is probably not as interesting as it looks. What is this going to end up? This is another, this is another uh, library trailer. Hmm. Where they just ended up end to end together. Oh. Perfectly in line. Oh, you know, save them. We never know when we might have space to fill. Oh, there's another not looking thing mm. close to it I'm investigating. If I end up finding any value in this, I can. Oh. I can find the library thing with this bookmark. I mean, I know we have it and don't need it, and I think I've run into it before and just destroyed it without thinking. I just realized that I just walked into naturally occurring sugar cane. Oh. I mean, I know we've... Oh, that... I'm glad I just turned and looked slightly to one side, because I just realized that there is a giant... I hope that's as giant a clusterfuck as it looks. It is as giant a clusterfuck as it looks. Oh my. Okay, this isn't any good. Oh my. Um, let's see, how many towers is this? Multi towers are interesting. Well, I think it is. Alright, so there is a tower, possibly two, that formed in the roof of a blacksmith shop. Okay, that happened. It is completely, you know, completely complete on the roof of the blacksmith shop. Okay. But then a second tower wedged into it. Then a third tower wedged into it. <laughs> then another blacksmith shop at the bottom. 
Let me see, how would I traverse this and go 